I want to know if you would reflect on Ghostbusters, which I loved and was so excited to see, and uh, Chris Hemsworth in comedy was such a revelation, but it also was such a weird year. And after Trump was elected, I thought, I should have seen this comp- coming. There was such a large part of the country that was so angry that women were Ghostbusters. Yeah. That should have been a red flag. You know, and I want to know if you would reflect on that time and just what, how weird it was when Ghostbusters came out and how there were so many people that loved it, but there was this weird vitriol towards it. Yeah, I think, I think some really brilliant author or, or researcher or, or sociologist needs to write a book about 2016 and how intertwined, intertwined we were with Hillary and the anti-Hillary movement. And, and like, it was just this year where, I don't know, every, they just everyone went to a boiling point. I don't know if it was having, having you know, uh, African-American president for eight years, you know, teed them up or something, but they were just ready to explode. And so by the time I announced in 2004 or 2014 or 15, when I announced I was going to do it, it started. And then there's, there's tape yeah. of, of Donald Trump going like, no, the women, are, uh, Ghostbusters are women. What's going on? Like, it's crazy how people got nuts about women trying to be in power or be in p- positions that they weren't normally in. And um, it, it was an ugly, ugly year. 